In this short tutorial, we'll be creating this scrolling year text animation. Let's begin with a basic 1080p composition and we want to create one that is slightly larger. So I'll create a new comp and let's make it 2500 by 1200. Hit OK. And we simply want to type out the years or whatever text you want to do. So let's say 2020 spacebar twice 2021 and just repeat as many as needed. Let's center this to our composition. So I'll hold down Control Alt Home and Control Home to center everything in our text. What we want to do here is basically animate it going from left to right. Let me bring the title action here so we can see the center. And I'm just going to drag it here so the 2021 is sort of in the center. Let's set a keyframe about two seconds long and just have it scroll to the year 2025 right about here. And I'm actually going to make this text white and I'll just select my year 25 and make it yellow. I'll select these keyframes, hit F9. Let's go into the graph here and just speed things up in the beginning and maybe just bring this slightly here. So we have this basic left to right animation going like so. Now let's go back into our main composition and bring up this comp. And I'm going to create an adjustment layer and I'll add the effect CC cylinder. Let's bring up the radius just a bit here and I'll change the render to outside. So now we can only see the outside of the 3D cylinder, which is basically in our composition. And if we play this back, you can see that the text layers are basically scrolling between each other. Now, if we want to see more of the years which are on the side, so for example, here on the left, we can barely see it and here on the right, we can really see it. So I'll go back into the text composition and just remove some of the spaces between the text. Another effect we can actually use here is CC sphere, which will give us more of a radial kind of look. And we can also set this to outside. And then we have a pretty similar effect, but it's more spherical. So these are two options you can work with. Now, another thing I've added is a simple stroke here. So create a shape. So let me hold down here, hold shift, click here, and I'm just creating a stroke. And then I'll go into the contents here under my stroke. I'll go into taper and I'll give the start and end length here just 80%. So it basically scales down towards the start and end of my shape just to give this a bit of a more interesting look. We can also duplicate this and bring this up here. And then we have this cool little looking scrolling animation. Now, if we want to do the same thing, but vertically, all you have to do is rotate your cylinder here. So I rotated the Z from zero to 90 degrees and our main comp with the text basically looks like this. So we have the exact same thing, basically the text stacked on top of each other and just moving from left to right. And then the CC cylinder, since it's rotated, it's basically giving us a similar effect with this scrolling type of look. Right, so a quick tutorial. I hope you found this useful. Have a happy new year and thanks for watching.